NLCS game number three, the Philadelphia Phillies hosting the San Diego Padres. The Padres are minus 120 on the money line. The Phillies are plus 100. The over under is seven and a half runs. The Padres laying a run and a half are plus 143, meaning if you bet them that way, they'd have to win this game by two. And the Phillies getting a run and a half are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, I have a very strong suspicion that this game is a trap. And when I read off the stats, you'll understand why. Musgrove pitched once against the Phillies this year. He actually pitched against Suarez. Six innings, six runs, six of which were earned, and they lost that game 6-2 to two in San Diego. Suarez pitched once, and obviously it was against him. Seven and a third, two runs, two earned. They won that game 6-2, to two, and it was in San Diego. Now, the Padres have won Musgrove's last three starts as a team. They're seven and three in his last 10 starts as a team. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched in his last 10 games, and he's averaging 6.1 strikeouts per game in his last 10 games. The Phillies not doing so hot in Suarez's last 10 games. They are four and six as a team in his last 10 starts. He's averaging five innings pitched and four and a half strikeouts per game in his last 10 games. Head to head, the Phillies are six and four against the Padres in their last 10. The road team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-4. and four. The under 7.5 is 6-4. and four. The underdog is 8-2 and two on the money line. And the team getting a run and a half, a.k.a. the underdog, is 8-2. and two. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. And the Padres hit left-handed pitchers for an average of 241. Now... The thing that's digging in my craw here is for whatever the reason is, the road team has been winning these games. And I don't know why that is that home field doesn't have an advantage here. I'm going to take the Padres with the money line, the Padres laying the runs, and the under. And I know this is probably going to come back to bite me. But the Phillies have been struggling with Suarez on the mound, and the Padres have been winning with Musgrove on the mound. That's the main determining factor for me. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.